over the top is more like a buzzword but it turns out in reality over the top services actually have been existing for a long time for instance whatsapp is an over the top service what makes it over the top is indeed interesting so we'd look at the relationship or the marriage between over the top services and the cloud infrastructure that has to provide certain services in order for ott to run and then what advantages are we going to accrue out of it the over the top services have existed for quite some time now but in the presence of cloud this becomes very interesting because ott has its own infrastructure like we, we can think about whatsapp youtube having their own content delivery networks cdns but the presence of cloud service providers which are there to earn revenues makes the makes or creates an opportunity for over the top services here it is the ott service providers which have the liberty or the room to play because ott services are so out of the box that they can think about unprecedented and unheard of ways and means to manipulate existing infrastructure to their own advantage that is why it is important for us to understand how and why cloud service providers need to join hands with the ott service providers the ott service providers make a lot of money they have disrupted classically understood business value chains so once the cloud service providers are going to join hands with them it is going to result into unprecedented revenues for them as well let's look at the understanding of the ott cloud service infrastructure which is ready for providing its services to ott service providers by the cloud service providers i've taken this diagram from a book we uh, we been using next generation architectures and protocols by tony jinevsky all along but this is another book internet technologies for fixed and mobile networks by artek house 2015 by the same author here we can see that uh, there is a complete layered architecture starting from the api end the runtime environment framework development environment to the services which could be provided to the ott uh, service providers like identity access control caching messaging and then we have the query and response database mechanism like uh, sql from azure for instance and then we have the more bare metal brick and uh, brick and mortar infrastructure uh, like operating system that runs virtual machines storage internet connectivity etc and then we have the physical data centers now all of this is now at the service at the mercy of ott service providers which make immense use of it and in turn do give uh, re uh, revenues and uh, profits to the service providers i've taken an example of uh, it was a paper published in 2022 by uh, yonsu lee and others the prediction of con content success and cloud resource management in internet of media particularly internet of media actually means where the audio visual or multimedia content is the primary content of that service uh, ott provider uh, internet of media things environment uh, it was published in electronics magazine in 2022 now you can see here we have the ott users on the left hand side we have the cloud infrastructure providing network as a service in in between and then we have the ott cloud services the services which are 
providing their services to the OTT platform or OTT service provider. The cloud services here in this particular example include this web server, uh, you can identify the layers yourself. The encoding, streaming, storage services, and then certain uh, machine learning like deep queue network analysis with a long and short term memory based cloud resource allocation. It is their own proprietary algorithm that they run uh, for OTT platform. And then they have certain common classification mechanism. Now this OTT cloud service infrastructure is what is now providing the mechanisms to the OTT platform. Now you see what a nice relationship exists between the service provider as a cloud service provider CSP and the um, OTT provider. Now the cloud services for OTT come certainly in certain forms and kinds. The OTT service providers now need appropriate cloud um, service platforms. The example that we've seen is from the, uh, from the uh, multimedia content viewpoint. Now, the relationship of OTT service and provider or the service platform and the cloud service provider is going to determine the dynamic and flexible assignment and retraction of the resources. Uh, so the beauty about OTT using cloud is OTT service providers are now going to subscribe to a cloud-based computing service yielding a lot of advantages. First, the OTT service platform would now be dedicated fully on the media service provisioning, that's on the quality of the content itself relating to certain quality of service requirement. Then some competitive media services would also be provided in addition to the media itself. This means now the OTT service provider is developing its own niche and is not worried, has delegated the um, resource allocation and deprovisioning to a cloud service provider. So it means it's at liberty to flexibly use and unuse depending upon the active or incumbent number of users. If there is a surge, sudden surge of uh, users uh, for a certain service request, uh, the presence of cloud service provider is going to ensure that there is no uh, playback cutoff which is detrimental to the provisioning of uh, services and revenues for the OTT provider.